Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina created four road development projects in Kumilla. Attaka Court extended to April 22nd the bail of Kaladazia India Charitable Trust corruption case. And the government will bear all the expenses of the bus collection in Jay Rajiv's treatment. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my TV English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Iqbal with the other news from today, watching the Standard Bank headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in a great just completed forward development projects in Kumila expressing her firm optimism that Bangladesh would advance further, keeping its head high. The Premier opened the four development projects through video conference from her official Gonobabun residence here this morning. The schemes are Camp Company Ganj Murdanagar Homna Highway and Gorudipur Homna Bridge under the road transport and highways divisions and Shastogata Railway Overpass in Kubilla Town and Podwar Baza Railway Overpass in Kubilla. A Dhaka court today extended to April 22nd, the bail of Kalada Zia in connection to the Zia Charitable Trust corruption case. Judge M. Diakhtar is the man of the special judge court 5. Set up at Aliyah Madrasa in Dhaka's Bokshibazar's area passed the order after Kalada Zia's lawyer Sanaul Lamia submitted a petition seeking the extensions of the bail. The court also ordered the concerned authorities to produce Kalada Zia before it on day. Meanwhile, Khalida was not producing before the call today as she was physically sick, according to the state authorities. Here, BNP started selling the nomination forms for the upcoming mayoral polls to Ghazipur and Kulna City corporations. Meanwhile, Ghazipur District Jubodol Unit Senior Vice Chairman Bashiruddin collected from on behalf of BNP Executive Member Hasanuddin Sharkar. BNP Joint Secretary General Ruhul Kabir Rizbi handed over the nomination form as well at BNP Central Party Office in Noipalton around 11.15 a.m. After that, BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir said that the present government is obstructing the path of democracy. A fair election will be held in December 2018 under Election Commission. Everyone wants a free and fair election. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will perform the responsibility of the election time government. Government believe that everyone will participate in this election as well. Food Minister Advocate Kamrul Islam said that this in the inauguration ceremony of the distribution of rice at the cost of Taka 10, Parkeji in Kurigram, Shadarupasala Porishad. Health Minister Mohammad Nassim said that a five-member medical board was formed for the better treatment of Rajiv Hussain, a student of Titumir College who was injured in two bus collisions in the city's current bazaar. He said that the action will be taken according to the instructions of the court from those who are responsible for the accident. This, the government will bear all the expenses of Rajiv's treatment, Minister said, after giving a medical checkup of Rajiv Rizbe. A suspected regional leader of an outlawed party has been killed in a reported gunfight with the members of RAB in Kushtiyas Kamrakali Upazela. The deceased is Shagor, a regional commander Purbo Banglar Communist Party. RAB said that an acting on a tip off, we conducted a drive in Garia River Chor around 4 a.m. on Thursday. Sensing that our presence, they opened fire at us. In retaliation, the members of the elite force fired back, which left Kuddus injured. Later, he was taken to Kushtia General Gen Hospital, where the doctors declared him dead, police added.
Three members of a family have sustained burn injuries in a fire that broke out early Thursday from a burning mosquito coil under Fatullah Puzela district. The injured are Shadad Hussain, his wife Rupali and their son Rifa Shadad received 55% burn while Rupali received 20% and Rifa 22% burn in the incident. Taka Medical College Hospital Police Outpost confirmed the matter. Viewers, that is all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News Online, visit www.mytv.tv and to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytv bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecasted at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Till then, I'm Shilai Bal taking your leave. Stay safe and connected. Allah Hafiz.